Hi kids, welcome to the Scrubby Wubby Patch. Now you know I raise children when I name a patch Scrubby Wubby. And you might be wondering why I named it Scrubby Wubby. This patch is actually bigger than the area I'm sitting in, but this is just the general small area I'm concentrating on right now. You can see I've got my trusty toothbrush and my scoop, and my screwdriver and water, and all that good stuff here. And I've been having a lot of fun just um, I'm trying to find the source of where this gold is. So as I've been going along in this patch, working my way um, up the hill, I've been cleaning off the gold. And I just want to see the host rock. You know, I can chase it all the way up. I can get a dry washer in here. I can do all kinds of stuff. There's a lot of different ways to chase the source. Done it successfully before, and you can too. Right now, I'm just trying to have fun. So I found a bunch of little pieces this morning, and I've got another one right here. So I'm going to pull it out. I think I got another one anyway. It looks pretty positive. That's all I found in here um, is gold. I haven't found any trash in this particular little area. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it out with you. And we'll see what it is. Are you ready, kids? I don't know if you can hear that. So let me adjust here. Sounds good. So let's get it out and see what it is. Well, it's not in there, and I'm fairly confident it's gold. Like I said, I haven't found any trash in here. Oh, I got a little bee buddy hanging out here. Hey, bee buddy. Probably attracted to the water from uh, the scrubby wubby. Alrighty. Now I've got a bead on it. And you'll notice, I, I don't have the... Uh, armrest on the monster and I've seen people like invent all kinds of armrest or use this. I don't even use it anymore because really you just don't need the darn thing. So I don't know if that helps you but um, it's definitely not something that you need to have. At least I don't need to have it. That's not in there. Oh well, we got it that time. Let's see what it is. <clears throat> I think I see it. There it is. It's another nice piece of gold out of the scrubby webby patch. And most of this stuff is really, really coarse. Um, so I'm going to take a quick look at it here with the scrubby webby toothbrush and some water. Maybe I'll invite some more bee friends in here. He's after my sardines. I don't know what's up on that. Do bees like sardines? Let's give it a little scrubby webby here. What's nice about these gloves is they do hold little pools of water. And it's interesting when you clean up coarse nuggets, you know, you see the dirt on them and it kind of cakes on the outside sometimes a little bit. Once you clean it up a little bit, you can really see the color of the host rock, and that's kind of neat. Hey, bee buddy. There we go. So yet another nugget from the Scrubby Ruby Patch. I'll show you real quick what I've found so far in the old Scrubby Ruby this morning. Probably try to do it in my hand because it won't show up very good on the glove. A 
there's five really uh, coarse pieces of gold there. Isn't that cool? They're just absolutely awesome. A lot of this little area, uh, by you know, stretching my arms over here, you know, probably six feet. And there, there's more in here. There's more targets in here. I'm just kind of taking my time and having fun. Uh, again, I haven't found any trash. So I'm, I'm fairly confident that anything I find in here is gold, but you never know. Um, you know, all along in here, I've found various bits of metal and uh, old bird shot or what we like to call BBs. So you just never know what's happening. Uh, you know, while we're talking, maybe I'll just take five here and eat some sardines, have a bite to eat since Bee Buddy was here. I haven't made a I haven't made a video in a couple weeks. Been really busy. You know, I spent almost the entire month of July um, in Colorado prospecting and hiking, having a lot of fun like that, and uh, that was a good time. My original plan was to spend July in Colorado come back for a week, go hang out with my good friend Reno Chris, um, Chris Ralph in California, and then the week after move my daughter to her university um, out of town. And uh, how it worked is we got back uh, from Colorado. And, you know, I was just thinking it's going to be my last few weeks with my daughter. I'm not going to travel to California. And I emailed Chris, and if you know Chris or if you don't, you've seen his videos, I'll do a magic link in here somewhere. Um, to Chris's uh, website and his uh, YouTube channel. He's just a great dude. He's very knowledgeable. He's a geologist. Um, great all-around guy. Great family. But, you know, I emailed Chris and I said, hey, buddy, you know, I'm just not going to make it out. I want to spend time with my daughter. And uh, he was like, yeah, dude, totally. Spend time with daughter. We'll catch up next year. Um, no worries at all. Um, because the last few weeks you have with your, your kid at home, even an adult kid, is very, very important. And you know, life happens while we're making other plans, so that's good stuff. But anyway, my daughter's happy. She's working on her degree in uh, the natural sciences. She has a lot of options to go to go to work. Um, you know, in in, the, in forestry, she can go in forestry into game management. Maybe be a wildlife biologist. Uh, she, you know, she's an honor student. The the world is her oyster. She's doing very well, and we're like super proud of her. So anyway, that's the story on that. And uh, I have been prospecting. I have been getting out. You know, we've been uh, making a lot of uh, long trips um, to go see her and things like that. But I haven't. I have been getting out prospecting here and there. You know, during the week, and I just you know haven't been in the mood to make a video, so I haven't done it. So it's nice to sit here and finally make one. So I don't know about you guys, but I love sardines. They're really good for you. I like the Wild Planet brand. And they're not sponsoring this video, and neither is that little bee. So anyway, um, maybe I can fill this can full of nuggets by the end of the day. But anyway, for you sardines lovers out there, these are really good. And for those who don't like them, not too bad. But, you know, something I wanted to mention is it's important when you're prospecting, when you're detecting, not to make any assumptions about the area you're in. Like when I first came in here, with some friends and we were working this area you know we were finding gold i'm kind of on a bench here um, we were finding gold in the gut and we were really trying to understand you know how big of an area this is and really um, this area is not huge i mean obviously the area i've been finding gold in is not big at all this morning um, but you know it's just about understanding so at first we didn't even think the gold went this far up the bench and we would never walk away without checking it but it's important not to assume Don't make assumptions. And I love, by the way, I have heard that more people like the little coil with the monster. I like this big one better. I'm finding these little tiny subgram pieces with it. It's all about slowing down, having your settings right, and this is pretty damn foolproof. This detector. So, I mean, compared to some of the other detectors I have and have used, like the 7000, you know, a lot of the PIs, you get into a 4500, there's like, I don't know, someone told me like 36,000 settings, like, why would you even have that many settings? You're never going to get to try them all. It's nuts. But anyway, I'm not faulting MindLab for creating all these settings, but it's just weird. This thing is just so awesome. 
If it was deeper in here, I'd bring in a different machine. Maybe I'd bring in a SDC. Just not deep. Um, it hasn't been... We found a few um, very sizable pieces, but most of it is, you know, this couple couple grams or or small or even tinier stuff. Just fun to come in here and have a good time. Uh, let me say when when uh, my good friend uh, Oslo Dennis and I come in here later this year we'll dry wash this area out and get all the fine gold but for now it's just fun getting what we're getting and yeah, they both got some really nice gold out of here as well so anyway that's the scrubby wubby patch that's where I'm at life is good I think I'm going to keep going once I finish my delicious sardines and see what else is here. I'll probably move over that way four or five feet or that way. This little area here has produced five little pieces of gold. Pretty darn cool. I'm not getting rich kids but I'm having fun. And that's what it's all about. we go. Let me sardines. Probably attract some critters there. I'll probably like that. I won't leave any trash here, but I'm sure the smell is all over the place. The uh, grizzly bears and, you know, the hyenas and stuff are probably smelling that right now. I wouldn't be surprised if a Bengal tiger came in here and ran through and grabbed that. Could have him. Grizzly bear, Bengal tiger, saber tooth tiger? They're still around, right? Pterodactyl. No. But anyway, scrubby wubby patch. Um, having fun thinking about all this stuff, missing my daughter a lot. So I wish she was here with me right now. Um, if she was here, we'd have a heck of a lot more gold. That girl dig it all up, probably. But anyway, she's doing her thing. She's studying today. She's got a lot of tests she's doing. So more power to her. I'll talk to her later this evening. Sarah is gold with her. She'll be really excited. She'll share her day with me. But anyway, anyway, here I am in the scrubby rubby patch. I'm totally not in my video making mood, my video making persona. I'm just kind of blah blah blah. So anyway, I left early this morning. I want to probably say I left the house two or three o'clock in the morning. And um, by the time I got the quad parked and everything, I it was probably 5, 5.30. Made it out here. It took me about an hour to hike into here. And so I have no idea what time it is now. I'm guessing the, the way the, the heat feels on my back and where the sun's at. I'd say it's probably 9.30. It's been a great few hours. It's been beautiful. Very successful day. Um, and I, I think I'm going to find more. I know there's more targets in here. I just got to keep digging. Hopefully, I got one more bottle of water with a scrubby wubby, so I might have to stop scrubbing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a Ziploc baggie that I have, and I'm going to take a sample um, of this uh, material in here, just to kind of guess how much we're going to find dry watch, and just kind of count the colors. You know, counting colors is fun. So again, I highly recommend that you eat sardines; they're absolutely wonderful. Um, welcome to the scrubby wubby patch. We'll definitely um, find more. This is really a patch in a patch. This is just a scrubby wubby patch right here. This is this is what I'm calling scrubby wubby. But you know, it's always fun to keep a toothbrush with you. It's lightweight fun. You know, you don't want to run out of water, but you can really see the host rock. And to me, that's exciting. I think it's cool to see host rock and look at gold and to see what it's all about. But this is just incredibly coarse stuff. Get that piece of sardine um, off my hand. But there's another one. Uh, uh, the one ethically, the one I just got. So, good stuff. Here in the scrubby wubby, I've got my scrubbing table, all my stuff set out. So I'm going to get back at it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon, and uh, be safe, kids.